Hello, my name is Sydney. Today's video, I'm going to talk about what to wear for medical school interviews. I'll also include some quick pointers for my gentlemans, as well as some sites for more affordable clothing options. Those sites and tamps, tampons. Brittany, what are you thinking it? No, you said it. <laughs> Those sites and timestamps of this video will be included in the description. If you find this video helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for future medical related content. Without further ado, let's begin. Makeup is optional if you wear it. A general rule of thumb is to keep it simple. The goal is to still look like you, but enhanced, if you will. For me, I even out my complexion, covered any spots and hyperpigmentation, drew in my brows because I was not genetically gifted with any, <laughs> opened up my eyes with mascara, added color and depth to my eyelid crease, and brought back color and dimension to my face with bronzer, highlighter, and blush. I finished using a better than my lip color lipstick because I feel powerful wearing lipstick. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, do you need to do all that? The answer? No, but can you with a light hand to still resemble yourself if it makes you feel more confident? Heck yeah! Along with the simple theme, I styled my hair to its natural form, which is straight. <laughs> I used a straightener to tame the frizzy pieces that usually fly up when I let my hair air dry for that <laughs> sleek look. And this is a side, but this is what I learned from Brad Mondo that I experimented with today. I combed out my sections first and then I ran my straightener through it. So the hair that I was straightening was orderly and technically this would result in less heat damage because you only need to do one pass as opposed to re-straightening the same piece of hair. As for what you're wearing on your body, which is a weird way just to say your outfit, brand doesn't matter as much, but it's more so the fit of the clothes. I chose to opt for the pantsuit instead of the long skirt because I just feel more confident in pants. A conservative color is recommended for that suit, so either gray, navy, or black. And inside for your blouse is where you can incorporate that pop of color or pattern within reason, of course. And for my guys, I guess because I saw my brother kind of go through the process, a suit fitted to you is recommended style of pants tapered <laughs> i don't know honestly whatever makes you feel comfortable and confident as for shoes you can opt for the closed toed solid color flat or small heel i went for the mini block heel just to add some height to my short self <laughs> and something about that click click clackety clack just makes me feel really powerful <laughs> and since there are tours associated with the medical school interviews excluding the 2020 2021 cycle i'm so sorry i know some girls brought flats along with them in their bags just to swap into when it was time for the tours which is something i wish i did to save my feet <laughs> as for my guys for dress shoes solid color so black gray or tan. Honestly, whatever complements your suit. As for accessories, which are definitely optional, jewelry is best kept minimalistic. Options include the stud or pearl type of earring, a simple chain necklace, a minimal ring, or a thin band bracelet, or a watch. Nothing that would detract from your answers or give you unwanted attention. For nails, just to keep it simple, either go for a neutral solid color or just bare, clean, trim nails. For bags, if you choose to carry one, I recommend a clean, sleek, medium-sized bag. Big enough to fit in maybe a small notebook, pens, water, your phone, wallet, and some snacks if you feel like you might need an extra boost. And a portfolio honestly isn't needed, but if you want to carry it for that extra security blanket and just to complete your look, then you're more than welcome to. I've linked a site that listed some affordable options in the description. The site mentioned places for interview clothes such as Old Navy, Kohl's, Target, Banana Republic, and J. Crew. It also lists some online retailers that I'm personally not familiar with in terms of the quality, such as Shein and Romway. For me, I chose to invest in my shoes and suit because I wanted them as staples that last for future formal events or interviews. Granted, I don't get larger or smaller. <laughs> I went to Banana Republic for the pants suit. I believe the complete suit was 200 and bought my small block heels from Aldo for 75. But in terms of the shoes, I know you can find cheaper alternatives at Marshall or Target. Speaking of Marshalls, speaking of Marshalls, their bag selection is really awesome and affordable along with Ross. Definitely check it out if you're on the hunt for a nice, simple, clean, professional bag. And now to wrap it all up, the final reveal. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
this concludes my interview series. You guys are gonna absolutely rock and sock them. And um, is there something else I can help with? And I can't wait to see where Interview Trail takes you. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.